Uh, it's uh, 11.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's kind of late. So uh, I tried a little experiment, well, uh, which I probably fail at, which was to uh, try to sleep again in extreme cold temperature. So I was chasing the cold, and then when I came here, this is what is called Ekerdam, and I'm gonna show you soon. It was minus 15 degrees Celsius last night. Well, <laughs> I came here at six in the morning. I think I came here a little bit too late, but well, I just slept here anyway. So, uh, just gonna show you um, what it looks like when I sleep in the car, and that actually it doesn't matter how cold it is outside. Uh, so, you know, I probably I'm gonna struggle big time when I sleep in other cars because, uh, like e-tron or i-pace, you know, they are smaller than Model X. This is a this is a freaking spaceship. So again, uh, some of you guys have seen this before. I can lay flat like this. Uh, I'm 173 centimeters. You see, if I stretch my leg. Um, I still have okay good headroom here. I think you can accommodate like 190, 195 centimeters. Yeah, uh, in the six seater. If you have a seven seater, the new seven seater or the five seater, then you can fold the seats and then you have more than enough uh, uh, space. But then I use these Evonex heat shields. And of course, I did a brain fart in one of the previous videos, one of the m many most views videos in the coal, which was that I said uh, reflect the coal. Of course, ref coal cannot be reflected, but uh, these have a reflective part on the outside. So it will actually reflect the heat from outside. So yeah, but uh, what I meant was that it acts as a layer of insulation, uh, which keeps the... It keeps the air trapped here between between uh, the glass and this side, so it actually helps. Because if I didn't have this thing covered here, then it would be pretty cold. But anyway, uh, so here we have uh, my cooler box. You see, you see that it's quite dark here. So I just want to show you how dark it is. This is Asakrit, perfect name for it. Asakrit. I switch it off at night because it's kind of noisy. Now I'm gonna switch it on. So it has two functions, you get cool down or heat, but I use it only for cooling. Uh, so uh, you see that the seat here is placed in that position, whereas the seat here is placed in the forward position. So it can uh, accommodate that uh, that um, mattress I have. And then I use this, this is, uh, we call it over madras, it's like a, it's um, a mattress from Ikea, which I just fold it double like this, and then becomes nice and soft. Uh, and also acts as, uh, as insulation to, I mean, f against the kind of cold uh, bottom of the car, right? Um, and again here you see, I have Evonex heat shield. And at the top here, I actually don't use Evonex heat shield. I've sh shown you guys before. Uh, f yeah, some of you guys have seen this, some of you guys is for the like, first time. So this is just uh, uh, the, the original, uh, it's kind of dark by the way, sorry for that. Front looks like this. And you see that uh, when I use that to keep climate on, then uh, after a while the screen will turn off, but you still have heater running. Um, but let me just feel here, there's supposed to be, oh, oh, oh sorry. Check here. Yes, so that this is a good thing about um, this the six and seven seat uh, configuration that you have air vents in the back here and you can control them and have heat coming out here. If you go for the five seater, then you don't get this one. So this is extra comfort. Actually, I would say that the six or seven seater is the best for sleeping in a car. Um, all right, but I want to show something else. Okay, see here, um, the USB here are, are not active. They're supposed to be lit up, and uh, you can see here also that this one is not charging right now. So the USB here is not active either. Uh, but this one comes from the 
the 12 volt outlet in the back which in my car is always active but in newer cars they are not <laughs> so I could almost say it's like it's like a founders edition uh, feature here you see my nasty seat it is so nasty I just touched the seat seat now I barely touched it and then the weight sensor sensed me uh, it's now on oh okay there you go yeah, I wanted to see this. Uh, okay, still minus 15. All right. Um, so let's see. Let me check something. Uh, all right, I checked the the screenshots from last night, and I had 261 kilometers of range. Now I'm down to 212. Okay, if you do the math here, we've been here six and a half hours. Um, I consume about 7.5 kilometers per hour, which is the same result I had before, and. Um, that equals to about 1.6 kilowatt. So the car is pulling 1.6 kilowatt constantly to keep uh, the cabin heated even in minus 15 degrees Celsius. So you can still stay here for over 24 hours in this condition and you still have enough juice. Um, all right, but there's one thing I want to do here. So let's see, if you go to driving, uh, now the battery is probably very cold. Let me show you something. If I press the brake pedal, there okay um, you see that we have region li limit now I've tried this before uh, other places where I actually had both region limit and uh, power limit in this case only region limit and there is a fast charger about 10 kilometers away from here which I will top up on so the challenge now is to get enough heat you see here uh, well, it looks like this in the, in the map. If you go here, all right, there, there, yeah, it's 10 kilometers from here. Hold on, come on, come on, let me get, yes, yes. Uh, in 10 kilometers, I will probably not heat up enough. So, uh, let me switch there. This one, this one is a uh, uh, new, uh, I don't like this. Uh, they should be in different colors like before. Okay, you see, so now we have, oh, that's a bit disturbing constantly. Uh, yeah, so we have that one, but you know, there's a trick with the performance cars, which is that If you go to um, Driving you can use max battery power. You only have that on performance cars. It is for better performance uh, But uh, the hardware is in every Tesla at least bundle S and X Which is that you're gonna you're gonna use the battery heater now to get more um, uh, Heat in the battery. Okay, we switch it on you heard a little like mm, there. Yeah. I can I can show you better if I switch. If I switch off everything. It's easier for you to to hear. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Yeah. So. I use this trick and you, you guys can also use this trick to heat up the battery. Okay, now it says estimated uh, one plus hour, so uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then as it heats up, this one we're gonna drop. So this is, this is region limit, these dotted lines. It means that you have limited uh, region, limited like, you know, almost engine braking and motor braking but it also means that you have limited uh, power input if you want a fast charge and uh, I, w I want to go to this fast charger 10 kilometers away which can possibly deliver about 45 kilowatt uh, at this state but I will not get 45 so we're gonna see how much we get but all right so uh, I will clear out the stuff now while we are parked and, uh, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you outside. Okay, let's move this one. Okay, no, not too much frost here, okay? Windows, I mean doors, should open as normal. Ooh, ooh. Wow. There were some trucks here uh, last night when I came here. We have restroom there, we have some uh, garbage bin, and here, yeah. You see, I've been I've been camping here uh, for a while, and you see, this is what I talk about: the reflective part of the uh, Evernex heat shield. They were originally designed 
for uh, keeping the car cold, I guess in sunny California. But I use it uh, for the opposite, yeah. At least now in winter. So, um, no, it doesn't feel too cold now. Hmm. But all right, let me uh, prepare the car and then we, off we go. Oh yes, we are on the move. So, um, proper winter over here. Oh yes, lots of snow. And uh, we are hammering it. Uh, ooh, minus 11 degrees Celsius. Woo. Yeah, we're down to 198 kilometers now. The, the kilometers goes down fast. Consumption is sky high and the heater is also in full blast. I mean the battery heater, the heat up it before the fast charge. So um, yeah, let's see when we get there. We are uh, let's see here, uh, 7.4 kilometers away. Right, we are here and uh, we have an iPace charging. Right, so I plug in the channel wall. Should be starting right now. Ooh, ooh. Okay, what are we getting? Ah, uh, 33 kilowatt. <laughs> so, um, you see here 90, well, let me adjust here, sorry. Uh, there, 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 there. So, you know, if it was full speed, it would be getting uh, 120 um, amp. Well, oh, it's getting there, but you know, uh, I should switch off this one. You see now it says heating, estimated 55 minutes. Yeah, so we have 55 minutes, so it's not full power. I, in order to get full power, you have to have like, half an hour 15 minutes left so I'm gonna switch it off because this one did pull some power let's see I'm gonna switch it off now hmm did something happen no no habla okay well he's doing that dance but anyway so um that's not too bad considering that I only drove 10 kilometers to get here I guess the high my the high, what the heck is wrong here? Is the charge port needs service or with oh, park is isn't available? Yeah, because of snow, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, but actually, maybe I should clean it uh, so I don't get um, so I can still use um, adaptive cruise control. But yeah, so 40 kilowatt, hmm, not too bad. So now that I'm parked here, I can stay here a little while. I'm juicing up and then I can clean the rest in the back there. Yeah, so I plan to always do. The important stuff first and then uh, while I'm charging I can do the rest yeah so um, I think that's it uh, for this video yeah so I'll just show you the the winter rather well, sleeping setup yeah some of you guys have seen it before some of you guys have seen it for the first time so I sleep a lot in the car while I'm on the trip it's so comfortable just pull over sleep it doesn't matter if it's uh, plus 20 degrees outside or minus 15 yeah or whatever so it it works great yeah, and actually the power consumption is not that high even in minus 15. I was a bit surprised that it didn't consume more, but I guess, you know, these um, these window shades, they help a lot. So yeah, okay. So anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So talk to you later.